Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to clone variables within Stata. In order to do so let's go ahead and preload a data set census 13 comes pre-built in Stata and it's just the demographic characteristics of states that we're looking at today and let's go ahead and start by cloning region here so as you can see there's one variable region that is a categorical variable and each of the states falls within the region. Let's say that we want to create a clone of that variable. In order to do so we're going to use clone var as our command. Next we're going to say the name of the new variable and I'm just going to call it region2 uh, an equal sign and then the variable that's being cloned which is region. Then we press enter and let's go have a look. So here we have region2 and here as you see we have region it's an exact copy and notice that uh, any labeling characteristics uh, uh, information over here as you can see label type format value etc etc that will all be cloned over from the old variable to the new variable so that is something that is not lost another cool thing that you can do here with the cloning approach is to set up new variables based on certain characteristics that you have in mind now Here's what I'm doing now with the use of the clone variable command. I'm going to create a variable called north. And this variable is going to be keyed to region only if region equals 1 or 2. And from my knowledge of this data set, I can tell you that the code 1 for region means northeast states that are in the northeast region of the United States. And 2 means states that are in the north central region of the United States. So I'm going to enter this code. I'll let you look at it again. And I'm going to show you what we did. We created a new variable here, north, that was keyed to region, but really in an interesting way, right? We only maintained the values of 1, which you can see up here, which is northeast for the region, and 2, which is the value for north central. So in cloning this variable, we exercised control over it. We cloned over just what we wanted to which in this case were region, regional information for northeast and north central and we left south and west um, kind of untouched there and if we want to see again what that looks like um, we can just create a table and you know approach it that way so let's say that we were only interested in states from the northeast or north central um, we use the cloning function to kind of pare all these values down so that they took on only the values that we wanted them to. So that demonstrates that the clone var function in Stata is good not just for you know brute force uh, copying of a variable but also for applying this kind of logic. Um, I did want to point out to you that you know if we wanted we could just copy it like so and so the same thing would happen. You don't particularly need code if you're just going to brute force copy a variable in this sense but what we did with the code here when we created north we exercise the kind of control that you can't if you're just using the copy and drag function to clone a variable within Stata. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews and Minitab here at 272analytics.com we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore we work very closely with you in order to perfect your chapter 3 and chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter 4 uh, following a perfect chapter 3 and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. 
I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.